best full English breakfast in Manchester and Oldham. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna to go to a new breakfast place called Bread and Butter. Good breakfast places are quite hard to find, quite few and far between, and I've heard good stuff about this place. Going to keep this intro nice and short, guys, because my belly is rumbling. Let's make our way to Bread and Butter. So we managed to find a little bit of side street parking and we are here. So here we go, guys. This is Bread and Butter. Let's go inside. Okay guys, so I've sat inside, I've made myself comfortable. Let me just show you the menu and what I'm gonna get. Quick shots of the menu, but of course it'll be in the description. I'm gonna go for this big old breakfast. I'm gonna go for a classic French toast, a cheese onion pie and a panini. Expecting some good stuff. I've ordered, I think, some of the best stuff on the menu. I had a chat with the owners here. They say these are their marquee items. So expecting a good breakfast. We're gonna start with a nice little coffee. Okay, so my food is here. And it's absolutely mammoth. This is the heavyweight breakfast box. So they basically, I think they double up everything they would on a normal box. So this is all only eight pounds, guys. Got four sausages there, mushrooms. You've got some toast, some hash browns, chicken goujons. That's a nice touch for a breakfast. I haven't seen that. Um, some turkey rashes, beans. This is a, a filling hearty meal. And then we've got some French toast. This is, I think, their caramel one, which I think is a classic French toast, but I think it's on the menu. I believe it's the classic, but it's got caramel on it, bananas, strawberry. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? I've got lots to eat today, but just visually, first, look at that. It's absolutely massive. Very impressed. But size is one thing, price is one thing, taste is another, so let's crack on. First thing I'm gonna do is try the sausages. They obviously do have like veggie sausages and stuff, but I thought I'd try meat, why not? Let's get some baked beans with the, with the sausage as well. That's a good start to my meal, guys. Injection of protein. Let's move on to, there's so much to actually try here. Let's move on to the egg. Let's see if it's runny. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of the toast. I'm just gonna give it a little poke because I like a runny egg. That's how I like my eggs. And yeah, look at that. Look at the run on that. I'm loving this place so far, man. That sausage was delicious. A nice couple of runny eggs with some good toast. I always think with toast, you don't have to overcomplicate. Give me a couple of slices of toast with a breakfast. Put lots of butter on there. Oh, I've just realized there's some chips under here as well. Dipping chips, guys, into runny eggs is just one of life's pleasures, I think. What a comprehensive breakfast. Have you ever seen chicken goujons in a breakfast? Be honest, I haven't. And I think that's an amazing addition, a bit more protein. What an addition to the breakfast. Guys, I think this is the best breakfast I've had in Manchester for this kind of stuff. So like a classic full English. Already, I'm dropping it as a meal for eight pounds. This absolutely enormous beast, which I think is enough for two people, and I haven't even tried my hash browns yet. I'm dropping it, man. This is getting a hey, man. When my family come up uh, from down south, that's where they're from. I'm taking them here because I think they will all love this. I want such a hype. I want such a hype. But this honestly is a really solid breakfast, man. I'm gonna try the turkey. We've got some mushroom there. Generally, I'm not a fan of mushrooms. I always give that to a person on the table, if I'm being honest with you. But let's try the turkey rashers with a bit of toast and a little bit of the seasoned beans. Lovely, a bit more protein, relatively lean as well, and not over smoked. So it's actually smoked perfectly. I will munch these down happily. I made a mistake earlier. I said four sausages. I meant to say two sausages, but still, this is an enormous breakfast, and each thing is really nice. Guys, we need to move on to the French toast. I've got a panini, I've got a cheese onion pie, but this breakfast right here, best full English breakfast in Manchester and Oldham. Guys, I get so excited about good food. I've got more coming, but so far, man. Moving on, guys, now we're gonna go for the French toast. This is the classic French toast. Got some bananas, strawberries, there's blueberries there. I think there's some white chocolate, some caramel, obviously laid on top of some French toast. I think visually, so far, that is looking pretty darn good to me. Let's just dig right into this, guys. Let's get a nice bit of French toast, a little bit of cream, like an all-encompassing bite. Get a bit of the fruits, a bit of the caramel going. Right, I didn't come here for French toast, but I saw it on the menu, I thought I've gotta give it a go. The caramel, the cream, the very generous portion of fruit on there. If you're a fan of French toast, if that's something that you're looking for, I think you'll be impressed by this. A little bit of crispiness from the French toast and all the fruits and the caramel work perfectly. The whole thing is sweet, but when you have cream that's unsweetened, it kind of balances the whole meal out, so it makes it not too sweet. That is a very, very good French toast, guys. However, my mind is still all over uh, this 
breakfast. I feel like I'm going to the gym. It actually feels like I'm holding a dumbbell and uh, well worth it. French toast, however, super tasty as well. I ordered fresh orange juice. I didn't know it came like this. This is kind of fancy. This is nice. Ah, it's refreshing. You know when it's fresh and you can see all the little bits inside. Can you guys see that? As I mentioned earlier, I was going to get a panini, right? We're going to do it now. So as you see there, that's uh, peri chicken and some cheese. And then we're just going to add some stuff. Yeah, so I'll have a little bit of lettuce, some red onion and some peppers, please. Brother. Okay guys, so let me just show you the finished article. So this was that panini that I was just getting made. You can actually get this with, I think, chips and drink for a fiver. That's pretty darn good value, actually. That's nice and soft, looks good. And then actually, uh, I actually forgot to order this, but I ordered this right at the end. So this is a cheese onion pie with chips and beans. I think both things look really, really good. Five pound for that chips and a drink. Why would you go to somewhere like Subway when you've got something like this, right? So this looks really good, but I guess it's, you know, all about the taste. Love the peri chicken. I actually like the panini. It's been uh, warmed, so it's like nice and soft. I think panini can be a bit tough. This is nice and soft. Lots of cheese in there, lots of chicken. Good amount of filling as well. And I think, again, really, really good value and really tasty. If you're nearby and you fancy a lunch, don't go to Boots, don't go to Tesco, don't go to Subway, Fiverr for that chips and drink. I think it's really good. Moving on to this, right? Absolute carbon fat overload, but I love a cheese onion pie. I absolutely love it. So let me try this one. See how it is. Nice little addition of chips and baked beans. That's actually how I have my Greg's pasties. Okay, Greg's pasty with chips and baked beans. So nice little addition there. Let's try this. Right, let's try the cheese onion pie. When I was looking at Google reviews, this seemed to be really popular. Lots of pictures of this, so I thought definitely getting the breakfast, definitely getting this. That's pretty good. We've got a good mix of cheeses. It's still got a little bit of runniness. So I think there's some mozzarella in there, some cheddar. There's something super mature in that, which I enjoy. Some chips on the side, which is always a nice touch. I do think, however, my favorite things were the breakfast and I think the panini. Those two things were really good. However, again, <laughs> it's because they don't go to Greg's, come here, right? If you're into stuff like this, I think you will enjoy that um, cheese and onion pie. Again, super, super popular. But I think the panini is something that I would get more regularly and definitely the breakfast. That was really good. Oh, actually, and the French toast, I had that too. That was really good. What an amazing place to eat, highly recommend. But if you want to see another amazing place that's kind of like this, where it's like breakfast, brunch, that kind of stuff, just click here. And I've got an Oldham playlist for some of my favorite places in Oldham. So just click here. Thank you so much for staying by right until the end, guys. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in that next one. Bye 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 bye.